Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back. This week's plant of the week is a small, useful perennial that I have grown to love and use extensively in clients' landscapes as well as several of my own landscapes. Coreopsis is this week's plant of the week, also known as tick seed, it is widely available as a perennial during the spring and early summer throughout most of the U.S. and Canada and mainly in the specialty mom and pop nurseries. Uh, availability sometimes get kind of low in the late summer and early fall when retail nurseries are turning inventory over. So you may have to ask for them, ask a staff member to say, do you have any left or can you get any? And sometimes don't take no for an answer. Ask them to, to look. And if they can't and they made an honest attempt, then okay, you may have to wait till spring. Anyway, so I was looking for, in late August of 2020 for you, I was looking for an availability uh, at two nurseries that I was nearby at the time, and they did not have any, and they were not going to have any until probably April. So these picks that I'm showing you now are going to have to do for you on this week's Plant of the Week. Hey, there are several varieties out there, and some carry, believe it or not, the same features and bloom that I have found are called different cultivar names in different parts of our country, being the U.S. I don't know about abroad, but, uh, you know, plant hybridists, they, they come up with a, a similar or slightly different uh, variety, and they'll slap a new name on it. But it still basically looks like others. So Coreopsis is... Uh, uh, hardy little guy man i mean he he'll tolerate pretty much anything except wet feet it doesn't like to be in a soggy heavy type of soil so you really have to amend it if you have a, a clay soil amend it up good with a lot of organic com, uh, compost or organic amendment and it, it'll do really well uh, some of the varieties that i've used and planted myself are you may want to take a note uh, Early Sunrise is one that I was introduced to Coreopsis with. Uh, it really takes deadheading very well. It has a bright, vivid, double petaled bloom and uh, dark leaves. Moonbeam is another one with its uh, daintier looking foliage, uh, but it has a profuse light yellow bloom all across the top where you can almost not even see the foliage when it's in full bloom. Uh, another one is Stern Taylor. It's a, it's a single bloom. It has uh, petals that are red towards the center and yellow towards the outside. Really nice, bright, bright colors. And the last one that I've seen, it's not always available, but I've seen it and used it, uh, is American Dream. Uh, foliage that kind of uh, mimics uh, the moonbeam. Very uh, dainty foliage with single blooms and kind of a darkish, pinkish, lavender type of bloom. Uh, Coreopsis is a good performer for a fill-in plant in a new landscape or, you know, anytime you want to have a, uh, a border in front of your uh, uh, bread and butter plants in a bed. Uh, I would say that uh, it does best when you have full sun, uh, a minimum of eight hours of sun a day. And like I said before, it's fairly tolerant of most soils. Uh, but but they do best if you have some drainage to them. Um, I have found them to perform best if you feed them monthly and probably twice a month if they're in containers. Uh, you, can get them, uh, you can get them to bloom by deadheading probably four to six bloom cycles every single growing season without even working hard, as long as you just pay attention to them. If you let them go to seed, they will, during the, the winter and early spring, you will see a couple of uh, seedlings come up. So I suggest if you want to keep the bed clean and you don't want to have a lot of little tick seeds running around there, uh, to deadhead them and cut them off the last bloom, say like in October-ish, depending on where you live. It usually grows about 18 inches. Maybe it could stretch to 24 inches. Early sunrise might stretch a little bit, but... For the most part, 18 inches high and about as wide. Uh, you can get them to maybe go to 24 inches wide, but 
18 by 18 is what I've seen most of all. It's a great performer. It's easy to grow. In the wintertime, you know, if you've had them in the ground a couple of years, you can dig them up in the winter and slice them into thirds or quarters and distribute them around the yard or give them to friends and then replant the original, give it some food, and my, they take dividing really, really well. Um, mom and pop nurseries are your best source, like I said, to locate a selection, usually in one gallon cans or four inch pots. So there you go. So look for Coreopsis at your local nursery next time you need to brighten up and fill in a sunny spot in the front or backyard, or maybe in a large container with other annuals, perennials, etc. Hey guys, as always, thanks for joining me this week. I really appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you've just stumbled upon Yard Coach. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment, or even more importantly, a landscape question below. I will get to them ASAP. As always, I will see you next week. Thanks so much again. Take care.